democracy. Now, Sam, Gough Whitlam will be remembered at a state memorial service today attended by Australia's political elite, including Tony Abbott and all former surviving Prime Ministers. Among those expected to speak are Labor Senator John Faulkner and Whitlam's former speechwriter, Graham Freudenberg. Uh, road closures will be in place as the memorial is expected to attract a who's who of Australian public life. Gough Whitlam passed away last month, aged 98. ALP leader Bill Shorten will be amongst those paying their, their respects. Uh, Bill Shorten, good morning to you. Uh, what does a day like today mean for the Labor Party? He was a great man with a great legacy. Uh, it's, a, it's a sad and a happy day for a people who are interested in Australia and Goff's contributions. It's sad because a great Australian has left us. But it's also a happy day because we recognise that he was a politician, unlike many others, who not only uh, served the nation, but he changed Australia for the better. Yep. Uh, John Faulkner, as we said, expected to speak, and Graham Freudenberg. Who else uh, are you speaking? No, I believe the family will be speaking too. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what John Faulkner has to say. Graham Freudenberg mightn't be uh, as a well-known name now as he was uh, a few years ago, but. He worked and collaborated with Gough Whitlam on a lot of his speeches. So, in many ways, when we listen to Graham Freudenberg today, I think we will be in for a real treat because he wrote a, a famous book about Gough Whitlam. Yep. And he is, I think, one of the great speech writers around. OK, how will he be remembered by friends? As someone who changed Australia. In those first hundred days when he got elected in 1972, the changes he made to Australia and the changes that he initiated made us a modern country. They gave us a new identity in everything from the arts to uh, the environment to land rights to universal health care and to access to university for working class kids right through to the uh, family law court. He, he gave Australia its modern identity and he was a very strong man who was quite fearless in the way he tackle change. Yep, absolutely. All right, Bill, thanks very much for joining